Hello everyone this is Void Spirit. I'm here to bring you guys amazing fanfiction that you will surely enjoy. But before we start please subscribe and like the video for more amazing content. CH5. The Wacky Dragon, Veldora Veldora's Cave. It's also where the research department is, so they wouldn't be disturbed in town. Oh. Rimuru-sama, princess. Gabiru greeted. Gabiru, you heard about the meeting? Rimuru inquired. Yes. I heard through thought communication. Gabiru piped up. Since you're now in charge of the development sector, from now on you are an executive. Gabiru's eyes bulged comically in shock. You'll be present for meetings when we decide on important matters for instance. Do your best. Gabiru choked and almost said, yeah, in excitement but the guys behind it got first. Why a a a a a why? The other Dragonutes cheered in delighted celebration. Gabiru Sama got P R O M O T E E E D. H hey you guys. Gabiru sputtered in an embarrassed way like a tsunere. Don't be so excited, you guys. This should be received quietly with dignity. Gabiru Sama, you were just about to say, yay, right? He did. Ichigo was utterly amused. She heard that. What? You heard that? The monsters are such an excitable bunch. You'd forget they're over a century old but they're more like teenagers. Then again, they live long lives like Shinigami do. Dot but considering culture here, she likes it here better. We have something to take care of in the deeper part of the cave, said Rimuru. Make sure no one approaches, all right? Yes, I think promotion was the right call but he gets too excited. Rimuru thought wryly as they two slimes went deeper into the cave, until they arrived at the bottom. What a fancy prison. A glowing lake, glowing rocks something out of fantasy. Ichigo marveled, looking around before her expression softened, but too quiet. Yeah. You'll get used to it after some time. Said Rimuru. I wandered for three months on my first life here. He said, recalling his past in the cave which comprised a blindly going around and eating what he came across. Those were days he did not miss, being blind and unable to see, hear and taste. He also can't feel anything due to pain resistance. So what exactly are the mechanics for Veldora's revival? Ichigo asked him. First, we give Veldora a suitable vessel since he's a spirit, in a way. Rimuru informed her. True dragons like him can materialize and astralize on a whim thanks to their massive amount of magicules. He said. Since he dismantled his body inside me, he's now a spirit. If I let him out, we'll see his form as a form of thought projection, not like the souls back in Earth spiritual lifeforms here that don't have a material body unlike back in earth will lose their mp over time just to stay in the material world that rejects their existence unless they have a vessel once their energy is depleted they'll vanish until they revive elsewhere however there will be memory issues so the mechanics are different here ichigo frowned as she made comparisons of spirits between here and earth back home that never happens i guess different world different rules ah so first, we prepare a vessel. My clone should work. Said Rimuru, creating a now enhanced clone. All clones he now makes, are powerful clones of his demon lord body now. But. He's staring. Oi. Why are you staring at your clone? That's a little creepy. Ichigo pointed out, looking disturbed. I got. Taller? Rimuru spoke in disbelief. You notice just now? But Rimuru wasn't done yet. He thought he's gotten prettier. Ichigo was slowly backing away from him as he voiced out loud, I've become a hottie, and the way he said it. Dude, that's just. Creepy. Rimuru realized he said that out loud and she heard him and she had quite the comically disturbed expression on her face. He went beat red and coughed awkwardly. P pretend you didn't hear that, he said awkwardly. Too late for that, dumbass. Ichigo sweat dropped. There's a reason people say you're so pretty they forget you're a guy. Rimuru face faulted. Then there's me who surpassed you in girliness as they put it. She wasn't this pretty in her past life. She looked like Shiba Kuakaku. Dot and until she got wind who her dad really is through you watch, she just unwittingly met her cousins during her rescue Rukia mission. Well, they're none the wiser because she was a red-headed, brown-eyed palette swap of Kuakaku with smaller breasts. They just thought it's a coincidence with the face, but not even Ichigo would want her large boobs she was happier with her D's that she got from her mother, while Kuakaku, forcefully stuffed a balloon in hers. 
The Shiba family genes ran strong the most in Karen while it was Yuzu who resembled their mother the most. Just that, who from their maternal side has blonde hair? Whatever. Anyway, it's up to Veldora whether he wants that clone or not. Guess he's gonna be a slime dragon from now on. Ichigo joked as Rimuru snorted at the idea. Haha, that'd be a hoot. Rimuru snickered. Here we go, and he released Veldora from his body. He's huge, about the size of a house. K U H A A A A H A A A H A A A H A A A K U H A A A H A A A H A H A H A A A A came the boisterously bombastically dramatic laughter. I'm back. My grand R E S U R R E C T I O O O N. Ichigo's expression was flat, unamused, but the guy's strength is no joke. Even if you make all captains and Arankars flare all they've got, they'd only reach 5% of this guy's full power and that's if they bankrupted themselves enough to make it that far. That, and she's pretty sure the whole damn world felt his return. The whole world did, causing international panic while up north and at east, it's a, meh, just another Tuesday. And chaos ensued in Tempest, giving Diablo, Shuna and Sheehan a hard time keeping things peaceful. Hey. Long time no see. Rimuru greeted jovially. How ya, Bin? Veldora pouted at the reaction. How boring. Oi, couldn't you guys be more impressed? Veldora pouted sulkily as there's no reaction from the pair. It came more quickly than I anticipated though, he cheered up quickly. Well, a lot of things happened, said Rimuru, and I became a demon lord in the process. Awkward pause until his words sunk in. What? It didn't even feel that long. Two years. The heck happened? And who's that lady beside you, your wife? Nope, my daughter. Veldora's glowing yellow eyes comically went round and his jaw dropped. Well, I'm both the mom and dad. After waking from my evolutionary slumber into Demon Lord, I ended up conceiving and giving birth to Ichigo and a large chunk of my power went to her. Said Rimuru as a large amount of magicules left him. Eek. Ichigo got Incased into a cocoon of slime again. This naming system is out of control. It depends on intent even in subconscious, master. I really gotta watch out. Dot wow, you waited till now to name her? Postpartum for monsters like myself apparently suck. Rimuru piped up weakly. I waited a bit to name her since pregnancy took 20 seconds I got hellish symptoms so bad I fainted after birthing her. He said with a wince. Slimes have kids asexually after all. Yeah. I remember my older brother losing a lot of his power having my niece with his human wife. Veldora scratched his cheek. But unlike him you didn't lose strength. Actually, you recovered it. I'm a slime. Recovering is easy. Rimuru said with a grin. Anyhow, while Ichigo is evolving, I got you a neat body. My enhanced clone since it's a demon lord clone. How about it? Use it as your medium. Rimuru offered, patting the back of his clone. Veldora assessed the clone by sniffing it. Ho ho. It's an excellent medium. Veldora approves. I shall receive it with great appreciation. And he went inside it just as Ichigo finished evolving. Her hair went paler in color by three shades and got noticeably stronger. Rimuru reckoned that the way she looked made her symbol a Yuki Ona now. Or is it because Zanjetsu, her spirit has white hair thus gets influenced? Rimuru now has official access despite previous claims as he knows he'll have access to her unique skills anyway, just as how Ichigo now has some of his skills that are compatible with her as gifts. The skills she received from Rimuru are, Analysis, All of Creation, Law Manipulation, Thought Acceleration, Chant Annulment and Universal Shapeshift. Her Ultra Speed Regeneration evolved to Infinite Regeneration, and she gained Demon Lord's Hockey, which represented her past ability to use spirit pressure. She only had physical, pain and spiritual resistances before, she gained new ones too. Abnormal condition, natural elements, and magic resistances. As her gift from being named by and connected to Rimuru's genealogy, she got another unique skill, unique skill. Construction. She can create materials or objects as long as she knows enough information to make it and has magicules to do so. This represented her final ability as a Shinigami as Shinigami's constructions are comprised of spirit particles. Here, she'll use either magicules or spiritrons for the job. But to make this ability handy, she has to do a lot of studying to make full use of this. She can even create food out of magicules, but eating said food energizes the eater based on how much magicules were used to make it. 
Its subskills are what she already has, with the addition of perfect memory, transmutation and fusion. Oh ho! We're pretty much overpowered now. Zanjetsu approves, as Ichigo heard her voice in her mind. I feel kinda op at this point. Who cares? M. You watch approves too. Well, at least we can be anywhere we want without being too hot, too cold and never get sick. On the other hand, Ichigo saw a glowing body not far from them. Dad? Oh, Veldora inhabited the clone I gave him. Said Rimuru. But he seems to be getting used to it and from what I'm seeing. Modify it a bit. The body grew taller. The clothes it wore disappeared, showing quite the chiseled body underneath with red jagged markings around the biceps and the eyes. The clone sported tanned skin, blonde hair and a very masculine version of Rimuru's face, thus quite handsome. Veldora created a pair of low waist pants with an armored crotch, white gloves with black edge and fingers, and white boots with black toe ring and soles. Then a matching mantle to seal the deal. I guess he wants to look manly since your face is too pretty. Ichigo snickered. Yeah, I got my preferences kiddo. Said Veldora agreed with an armful with a shit-eating grin. Rimuru's too beautiful. Had I not known he was a guy I'd have trouble telling the difference. Excuse me, you two. Rimuru pouted, annoyed as they had fun at his expense. Well, at any rate, I'm now free and I have you to thank, my BFF. Veldora raised his fist for a fist bump, making the two earthlings laugh. Geez, where'd you learn that from you old man? Rimuru laughed as they had that fist bump. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Dot did you get my gift? He asked. Veldora thought about it as he looked back to his abilities and found a change in him. Oh. My unique skill. Investigator evolved into Investigation King. Faust. He lit up like a child getting candy. It's the power to reach the ultimate truth born from my insatiable curiosity. What about you kiddo? Veldora asked Ichigo. He named you didn't he? Yeah. I gained a lot of resistances and a unique skill. Construction. Said Ichigo. I got a lot of studying to do in turn to make it useful. And food I make will restore the eater's magical energy. As they talked, Rimuru had to deal with surprise additions. He gained ultimate skill. Veldora. He can summon Veldora any time, and should anything happen to Veldora, he is easily revived with his memories intact as long as Rimuru is alive. He also has access to storm magic. Not only that, Raphael evolved unique skill, infinite imprisonment into Covenant King, Uriel. Rimuru wondered if ultimate skills are that easily acquirable to this extent of ridiculousness. Well, let's have you restrain your energy for the sake of Tempest citizens, said Rimuru. You gotta hold back your massive aura before we go home or you're gonna scare em all. Oh that's easy. I learned how to thanks to the sacred texts. Sacred texts? Ichigo looked at Rimuru cluelessly and Rimuru sweat dropped. He means the manga I've read in my memories. Ah. You 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 are r r r r r r r r a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a this was because not only was Rimuru and Ichigo out, they were outside when they felt Veldora return. Are they even okay? Soon, they were back within their line of sight. Everyone, we're home. Ichigo called out as their people quickly rushed to them. Rimuru-sama. Princess. You're both safe. Rigardo, the Prime Minister gushed out in relief. We suddenly sense the signs of the return of the Storm Dragon Veldora. We're gonna explain that right now. Dot but first, say hello to Veldora. Ichigo raised her arms to point at the blonde man with them. It took dad two years to dismantle his prison, you see. And now he's back out. He's what we went out for. She said in casual cheerfulness while Veldora was awkwardly shy around people. From the back, Diablo was very impressed with his master when he heard Ichigo's words. That, and he's close to Veldora, a feat nobody's accomplished before. What other demon lord can claim to do the same? In the northern continent, Guy sneezed into his tea while lying on the roof of his castle. In the eastern empire, Rudra sneezed while sipping wine while relaxing in his garden with Velgrind. Awkward pause. 
E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H Well, he's using the clone I created for him to inhabit, he did some modifying. Rimuru continued. Now that he can hold back his massive aura, he can now live here with us. Say hello. Rimuru nudged Veldora with an elbow nudge but the dragon was being awkward. You being shy now? I I I I'm not being shy. Veldora sputtered in denial. It's just that nobody ever got near me and lived to talk about it, this is too new to me. The monsters remained skeptical as last they checked, he's a giant blue dragon isn't he? Trainee appeared and knelt before Veldora. Her words were what validated his identity. Our lord and our guardian Veldora-sama, I congratulate your return from the bottom of my heart. She said in utter sincere reverence. And considering all trees around, naturally, they'd know first. Oh, the dryads right? I remember you guys. Veldora perked up, recognizing Trainee. Thanks for taking care of Jura for me. I am unworthy of such praise. Said Trainee in respect. Such a task is in no way enough to repay you for taking us in when we were separated from the Queen of Spirits. Don't worry about it. Wahahaha. At this, that was enough proof because Trainee herself confirmed it and they all knelt down in respect immediately. The only one who didn't was Diablo, Yume's group and Cabal's party. Our Lord. W wait, that's the Storm Dragon. The real thing? Ellen squawked out in horror, pointing at Veldora nervously. You gotta be kidding. Yume croaked out shakily, his left eye twitching. Keep looking out for Rimuru and Ichigo for me. Veldora told Trainee. He even got me a cute niece, being my sworn brother and all. My other half. He chimed, getting the two slimes in a one-armed noogie each. Another awkward pause. Sworn brother. The monsters squawked. They can't believe their master has such an incredible relationship with their guardian. He even acknowledged their princess as his adoptive niece and she already has a name, their princess Ichigo. Chaos ensued. When the wackiness calmed down. Everyone, we've gone through a lot, ups and downs. Rimuru told his people. But tonight, forget the downs, and let's party. Y-E-E-E-E-E-E-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A
Rimuru pointed out with a weak chuckle as he earned, looks, from his subordinates that made him meep as what's with those sad kicked puppy faces. Even the humans, Myron and the Beastcateers did a double take at those faces. Anyway, he coughed awkwardly. Yum and the Beastcateers, this will be all about you next, so please listen. I'll hear what you have to say boss, said Yum in full attention. Does this have to do with Karian Sama's rescue? Albus asked hopefully. Yes. I have decided to fully accept being a demon lord in position as well, not just through evolution. Said Rimuru as the position made him know he must be politically active from now on for Tempest's interests. And I will have to announce that publicly. That had been Yawacha's recommendation, being a king himself. So when we take action against Clayman, we have the right to do so legitimately since he offended two demon lords first with his actions. Myself and Carrion. He said seriously. The Beastcateers will act on his behalf thus they will take action based on what will carry and decide, and mix in their own ideas while working alongside Tempest. And then there's Falmouth and keeping the Western Saints in check. Ichigo, you and Rigardo will handle negotiations with the West. Rimuru instructed the pair who nodded. Alrighty. Gramps and I will do it. Ichigo grinned raising a fist. You can count on us Rimuru-sama, said Rigardo excitedly. Benamaru. Benamaru perked up at being called upon. Pull together the results of everyone's evolutions. If we are to battle against Clayman and his forces, we need to know what our strengths are. Understood. Rimuru Sama. Benamaru bowed. It's his job to know what his soldiers can do as military commander in chief. Due to that, he was also reliant on Sue's information. Sheehan, you'll interrogate the war prisoners. Sheehan looked murderously excited. Don't take it too far, okay? We need them alive. Understood. Rimuru was nervous about that, so he looked at Yum and Myron next. Sheehan will handle. Persuasion, Yum and Myron ask the questions. I need to know the state of Falmouth, the motive for invasion, and the remaining forces. Yes, boss. Beastcateers, I'll have you help us out too. Rimuru looked at the Beastcateers. Fufu, you need not even ask, Lord of Jura. Albus smirked confidently but also fairly as she was ready for action. Ask us anything. We'll act on your orders, said Sufia as Phobio nodded. Good. Rebuild your strength and be ready for the upcoming battle. During our offensive, Eurozania's forces will temporarily be under Benamaru's leadership. Notice. There is someone out the door, and thirty knights approaching. Raphael spoke. They are led by the king of the armed nation of Dwargon, King Gazel Dwargon. Everyone. Let's go out. We have a high profile visitor in our old friend Dwargon. Rimuru mused. Let's greet them all and give a welcome. 